Hi everyone, I just want to do a quick review on the Glade Boundary Helmet and Glade Fathom Plus goggles because I hope that this information will help someone else out there who's struggling to make a decision on what to buy. So I'm a relatively new skier, I'm no expert at all on a different gear, but I just want to talk about my personal experience and why I chose this helmet and this goggle combo. Um, this is my second season skiing, so I'm like brand new to it. I had this Outdoor Master Kelvin helmet and it's perfectly fine, but it did not have MIPS, which is a higher level of protection for accidents and things of that nature. I haven't had an accident yet, but um, I did know that I wanted to have a MIPS helmet because I've been really um, just loving skiing and starting to um, take trips out. We went to Keystone this year and I was a little nervous about how big the mountain was there. And um, you know, just having protective gear can give you a sense of security. So um, I decided to upgrade from my non-MIPS helmet to something better. And um, doing some research, I thought for the price point that the Glade Boundary Helmet was a really great offer or option that um, could be the right fit for me. So that's how I got to Glade products. Um, then I started looking to goggles and realized that the goggles I had, the Smith Vogue goggles that I had before, maybe weren't the best option for me. And I'll talk a little bit about why. Um, but essentially, um, I bought these goggles because I thought they looked good. And to anyone who's new to the sport, they probably thought, oh, wow, yeah, these are pretty cool goggles. Um, the issue was that even though these are nice and snug on my face, I don't even have a helmet on, if you look here, my finger can pretty much fit in the nose bridge right here. There's a big gap here. Um, and even you can see here, my finger pretty much can get in there and wiggle around. Um, now I did have to kind of push in there, but it's enough where without effort, there is a gap here. Um, and you don't want that. I found that out when they were blowing snow and I was skiing one day and they started to fog up and I couldn't figure out why um, other people's weren't fogging up. And I, put two and two together and figured out that I have what they call a low nose bridge. So basically that means that the bridge of my nose is close to or lower than my cheekbone, which is here. So I'll show you my profile, my lovely profile. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, common with Asian faces, although non-Asians also have low nose bridges too. So they're starting to call it low bridge fit instead of Asian fit to be a little more PC. But that can cause a problem because the goggles that I have here, the Smiths in particular, rest on my cheekbones and my cheekbones basically lift that up off my face so I, that gap is even more pronounced at that low no bridge, nose bridge. So um, you want to snug fit with the foam to prevent fogging up and other issues with the goggle. And then the other thing I want to address was um, a goggle that fit over my glasses. Um, now I do wear glasses, I don't like to wear contacts and I don't wear them on the mountain because I didn't have the option of wearing them under my other goggles. And so I wanted something that would fit over that. Um, I talked to Glade and they have been super responsive with their emails. I mean, uh, within a day, I would get a response back to all my questions and I had a lot of them. And I landed on the Fathom goggles that are over the glass compatible. And um, the Fathom Plus in particular, because they have the photochromatic lenses that uh, will adapt to different light levels and they have two different lenses the low light and the um, regular lens so this right now has the low light lens on it and what's really cool about the over the glass fit is they have these cutouts in the foam to fit your glass frames in so notice right here in the corners how there's these cutouts here and then um, the regular ones my smiths do not have that cutout so not only are they small and frame, but there's the foam is just not going to accommodate those glasses no matter how hard you try. It's just not going to work right. So I love that about the Glade Fathom that's over the glass fit. So I'll be able to see clear on the mountain, which is always a good idea. Remember, I tried to be safer here. The other cool thing about this is they have this um, closure system on the goggle that the other goggles don't have because these are over the glasses that you can just put them around your helmet, around your glasses easily and not have that awkward slide this band that has silicon grip anyways over your um, helmet to try to get it awkwardly over your glasses and under the visor of your helmet. So um, I love that about it, but I really wanted to see if it um, worked well with my low bridge fit. So I'm gonna show you how that all came together right now. So the boundary helmet, super lightweight, has these really cool adjustable vents to keep things cooler or warmer uh, the way you want it. Of course, they have the dial back fit here. This is their goggle. Um, 
loop here and you just basically pull that elastic around it. It has a little tab, it's super easy. Uh, really nice you know, construction overall. And the great thing about it is I like the style of this helmet more than the other one. <laughs> so not only is it safer, but it's also um, a lot more stylish. And I keep wanting to do the old closure. And what I mean about the old closure is the normal buckle on my Outdoor Master here. See the, the normal buckle where you have to like push it in and then squeeze and pull. Uh, it's difficult when you have gloves. And I actually have, um, I'm kind of older, so I have these heated gloves and they're very bulky and awkward. Um, so I can't really do anything with the helmet with that. But this is really cool because you have this magnetic locking system. And I, it's taking me some time to get used to this because I'm just used to squeezing something and unbuckling it. But here you see this channel on my buckle. And so when it fits like this, it's going from kind of your face back to your ear. And on this side, I don't know if you can see it, but there is basically like a button. And so you just basically slide um, magnetically the buckle and guide together and it's locked. So it's not just a magnet that's strong. It has a, a locking mechanism, which is really awesome. So pass the test on the helmet. We like the way it feels um, and fits on me. My husband thought it looked cute. So uh, pass passes both the safety and the fashion test for me. And then um, my glasses, I'm gonna show you with this frame. I have fingerprints all over my glasses right now. Um, I probably should have put my glasses on before my helmet, <laughs> but we'll, we'll do it this way, just, just because that's the way I did it to start. So these are a um, little bit of the retro horn rim, but not too chunky. And again, this handy opening system that they have and then basically putting on these low light lenses over my glasses so you can really see them. But boom, it fits just right over and integrates really well with the helmet. And then um, I just have to buckle it in the back here and it is in place with the elastic. So, all right, I just got these a few minutes ago. So still learning how to use these, but I was so excited. I was like, I have to do a review on these because I'm so excited. Um, first of all, I can see really clearly, which is awesome for the mountain and being able to ski and see clearly. And the second thing I want to show you is, let's see how the foam fits. So here it is and my fingertip cannot go in it. And it's, um, I think part of it's because with my face, it's definitely fitting lower on my nose. I can breathe, no problem. Um, it's more comfortable than my Smiths were. It's resting lower on my cheekbone, so not on the apple on my cheekbone where it really, it's really high on my, my cheekbone, um, but it's able to fit on my face flatter, I think, and, and that's really helping with the fit of the foam. Um, the next test I wanna do is basically when I take off the goggles, does it pull off my glasses? Because I saw this in a lot of YouTube videos where they're like, this is not a great solution. They take off the goggles, it pulls their glasses off. And you know, you know it gets kind of annoying, and that's why I think some people get prescription inserts um, which I didn't really want to invest in like that crazy uh, amount of um, you know ski gear to have prescription inserts. I just want to be able to wear my glasses and you know put on some goggles and be done with it. Uh, maybe one day I'll I'll eat my words and want to do inserts. But this is a great solution for me. I took off the goggles. My glasses are still on my face and they're comfortable. They're, they look good. I'm pretty happy. These are my chunkier lenses. There's you know, quite a bit more material here in the frame with the horn rim. And um, I found just what's easier is kind of start on one corner and kind of guide your way over to the other. Um, but here we go. Okay, so that was a little more effort to get them over my glasses, but you know, not that bad. So yeah, I have the option of using these glasses too when I ski because the goggles still fit really good over it. And again, no gap in the foam. Really nice with the visor line here on my helmet, my boundary helmet. Uh, it's great, I love it. So um, with this, the chunkier frame, I'm gonna assume that's gonna pull and tug a little bit more of my glasses than the other ones, because I have the horn rim. And yeah, there was a couple, couple pulls there, but they still stayed on my head. Um, and you know, with this system where it can open, it makes life a lot easier. Um, so yeah, I am really happy with the Glade Boundary Helmet. This is what it looks like. 
and the Fathom Plus goggles. And these are again with the magnetic lenses. They're really easy to take off. I mean, I think they're pretty easy. They take a little bit of work to first get the first magnet broken. Um, not really broken, but you know, pulled apart. Um, and then I have my other lenses here. I chose these ones. Um, and basically they adapt to different light conditions. And you can just put those on, but you want to really make sure you line up the magnets. And I haven't had enough practice on this to be super good at it. But if you see like any little gaps, you want to fix those before, you know, you use them in real life. So it takes a, it takes a little bit of, you know, a little bit of effort, but not, not a lot. There we go. Yeah. Gap is gone. You know, looking good. Um, yeah. And so that's how they look and just to show you what these lenses look like. I'm not going to wear my glasses just to be one step less that I have to do, but that's what these look like. All right. Yeah. It's got kind of a retro, um, fighter pilot kind of look that I personally like. And, um, yeah, I'm loving them. Now they, they are going to come out with a low bridge fit. Um, of the adapt goggles. Those are not over the glasses compatible. So that's why I didn't want to wait for those. Um, I bet they would fit my bridge even better, but I wanted to do this review just to help those of you that are looking for the over the glass fit and um, are looking into Glade products. Um, I think that they really put a lot of thought in the design. I'm really happy with it. And, I'm glad that I lucked out that fit my face pretty well, and I hope that um, this information helps you guys out there. All right, well, have fun skiing, snowboarding out there, and I hope this review was helpful.